Rolls-Royce SMR, that's uh, got long provided nuclear reactors for things like submarines. It was announced as the preferred bidder for the UK's small modular reactor program. Now they have captured the imagination over the past year with the likes of Amazon, Alphabet and Microsoft all commissioning projects to power what is their pretty energy hungry data centres. Our business reporter David Waddell spoke to the company's chief executive and began by asking how these reactors differ from traditional nuclear power stations. Our SMR is a, a nuclear power station that fits onto about the size of two football pitches and from that will power a million homes for about 60 years. So the first point is it's about a, a third of the size. But the key difference here is our approach to delivery. This SMR is 90% built in factory conditions with about 70% of it off-site in controlled factory environments where we can standardise that product um, replicated at scale and then deliver these as fleets, not just here in the UK, uh, but hopefully uh, through the world. What does this unlock in terms of international opportunities for Rolls-Royce? It's a real vote of confidence from the government in our technology uh, and in our ability to deliver. And that will be heard by governments uh, across the world. Uh, we've already been selected in the Czech Republic uh, last year. And there are a number of other governments, particularly in Europe, looking at uh, selection processes and selection processes which we're part of. Safety is a concern for many people. Many opponents will point to Fukushima, to Chernobyl, to Windscale here in the UK. How do you address questions they might have? Well, I'm very confident our plant is safe. This is proven nuclear technology. It's uh, the type of reactor is one used in 75% of reactors through the world, one very familiar to Rolls-Royce, who've been building reactors for some 65 years for our submarine programme. And we're very familiar with the, uh, the management of safety critical systems. We go through a very very rigorous regulatory process of both the product and planning for the site and we're in the final stages now of that uh, regulatory process. And how will you manage nuclear waste? This is something that will need to be stored somewhere that can never be touched by humans ever again. Yes we use a totally standard in the industry fuel type so the the methods and approaches to managing that waste are well proven and well managed uh, well proven in the UK so we we store the waste safely, contain it and store it, uh, and then eventually uh, find its way to a geological storage facility. And when should we expect to see Rolls-Royce SMR start providing energy into British homes? Yes, we've got a process now of going through regulation and the site-specific detail that will work with Great British Nuclear uh, and then start building. We think it will take us about uh, five years to build the first one from, from that starts. So we anticipate around the, uh, the mid-30s we'll see uh, power on the grid.